Hello and uh, welcome to another tutorial by me, Zo Bruno, uh, Bruno Les from the Wix. And um, uh, today we will be recreating uh, uh, a vulnerability we found on one of the major corporate networks in Cameroon. Yeah, one of the major corporate networks in Cameroon. And um, it's very simple, of course, to for us to follow this. So I, I just urge you to follow it closely. And this tutorial is a one of a kind uh, because uh, it's done by me and uh, through Emmanuel, also of the weeks. Uh, so let us get right to it. First, we start our Google Chrome. And um, uh, once our Google Chrome is started, we're going to enter the address. Uh, so we just um, get, we just imagine this is the IP address which we had at the beginning. And uh, all we could get from that IP address was that it works something like this. So let's heavily get down to Firefox and we are going to configure our Firefox to be able to send information to Bob Suit. We're going to use that uh, use manner proxy. And uh, once that is done, we're going to enter the address or the IP address. And um, we're not going to press enter for now. We're going to start our Bob Suit first of all. Um, with publications and uh, we're going to start Bob suit now basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to capture the communication between the server and the clients using Bob suit so we go ahead and press enter and uh, we should have some information here on the proxy as you can see for yourself and we're going to send this to spider and uh, as you can see we have some information coming up we ignore the form now we go to target and on the target as you can see we have uh, a dev directory and under the dev directory we have about uh, forgot index and upload.php so we're going to head right away to upload.php that is dev slash upload the php and uh, we see that we even need a password for that so we click on upload and we see for a roster upload, we need a password, okay? Um, we did a brute force in order to get a password. We are not going to show that here, all right? Uh, that will be on, you can talk on us on Facebook, on Twitter, and we're going to tell you how we got that. So um, uh, we're going to write away. And then the, we have to upload a file. So let's try by uploading a, a, a TXT file and see what happens. Let's try by uploading a TXT file. So we just go to our desktop, we create a new file, and we name it hello.txt. And uh, in hello.txt, we, we can just write some message there. We're just going to say, hello there, how are you? Okay. And uh, that's just a test, of course. We, we're going to use this as a test, and uh, we'll try to upload that file and upload. And uh, hello was uploaded. So let's see. Okay. So nice, so good. Okay. When we're doing this, um, 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 uh, how can I say this research or this um, attack, we try to upload a PHP file, but we had it was refused. We were refused, even though we had a password. So let's try creating, a, renaming this file to a PHP file, and uh, we're going to try to upload it. PHP and um, a PHP and then we'll try to upload error illegal file detected okay this is what most most web administrators do all right they, they try to um, uh, stop PHP files from being uploaded okay no problem so what are we going to do um, the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to keep this hello out of that and we create um, use a blue fish editor to write a new uh, a new uh, script and we're going to save this as reverse.pht okay and um, once that is done we're going to type in some uh, php command that is going to help us to have a reverse payload or a reverse connection to the system so we're going to use php uh, sorry about that to use php and we're going to close the php tag and in here we're going to give the system command 
and in the system command we're going to give the general variable which is the request variable and in the request variable we're going to give the command the cmd command and we're going to close that all right so we've saved that already and uh, we close that and we have on a desktop reverse of PHT. so we go back to our upload we input our password and um, just to make sure it's correct and uh, we try to upload the PHT file and we upload right it was uploaded successfully that's good so let's check on that now when you open the PHP PHT file there's really nothing there so let's say question mark CMD equals to who am I right so we start getting some data okay so let's try to pink her huh? uh, pink google.com which of course because of the space is not going to work but what we have so far is that we have uh, who am I we have the ability now to send commands to the machine or to the server so what are we going to do with that information and so once we have this information we know that we can execute some uh, uh, commands on the victim machine or the victim server so we're going to head right away to create a netcat um, listening port so we're going to say netcat listing verbosely on port 443 and we're already listening on that port so the next thing we want to do is we get our own IP address, which is um, uh, so let's just get if config. Okay, so we have from a 10.42.0.1 that's our IP address. So we go right ahead immediately, and uh, what we're going to do is that we're going to try to make this send reverse information to us. So we're going to use the sd bin ch or netcat minus e. And um, we want it to send that information to bin sh, which is found on our machine, that's 10.42.0.1. And uh, we want it to send it to port 443 with an A command. So we press enter, and uh, we see the server is trying to work out something. And uh, while it is doing that, we have here a connection from the local machine. As you can see, of course, the IP address and uh, everything seems to be working well all right so what are we, what can we do next okay what can we really do next the, the fact is we can now uh, play around with this machine and we give it the id command to send us the id so we have the group of users here and uh, <laughs> i know it's getting interesting uh, now we can send the pass the pwd command to tell us where we are and uh, we see that we are in var www.dev.upload that's very nice information so the next thing we want to do is we want to know the users are, that are available and we use this command of the home directory so we want to know how many users are available on this machine and um, good and fine we have Aman Paul, we have Cortez and we have De La Rox. that's some pretty nice information right and we see that someone is root okay we have these users and we have these these are the users that are available so let's say we have three users right now good and fine so what can we do with this information okay so right now we know that we do not have access to Delacroix uh, looking at the right written rights order but we do have for Amampo so we are going to concentrate and attack on Amampo looking that uh, Amampo might be a, a, a simple um, a network technician or something so what we're going to do is that we're going to cd into Amapos directory uh, sorry about that let's cd into Amapos directory so that we have access and um, once we do that we're going to use the ls minus rats command to find out if we are really in the hard directory or his directory so we have here um, some good files qr profile um, uh this file seems very nice to me uh let us check the files that amapo has used recently okay this is going to help us uh, to get some information so we're going to cut uh, the dot bash underscore history 
All right, so we, we see some of the things that she has done recently. Uh, this really stands out. Really, really stands out. It looks like a password hash to me. And it's coming from a script. Wow, that's nice. Okay, so it's coming from a Python script that gives a password string. So we don't really know what is going on. And we see that we can, she typed to get a new password. So let us look. SSH is enabled. Wow, this is going very nice. SSH is enabled on her directory, but we do not have the password for the SSH. So let us try by uh, maybe uh, use the same Python script to create a new password. So let us try that. We're going to say Python and we run the scripts, which is a STEQR.py. And um, for that, we're going to put in a minus F uh, for file and we create a new password, which we're going to call Zoix. All right. So I'm going to use that password. And uh, that is that. Okay. Now, let us try logging in into SSH using her those commands we've just created. So let us try going in into SSH. Using the window below, we just uh, SSH, enter the name, I'm on call, add to the IP 41.0. Uh, let us check that to be sure. 10.42.0.72. 10.42.0.79. And uh, we press enter. And uh, we said yes. This type yes, sir. Sorry, yes. And the actual password, so we're going to give two weeks. Um, permission was denied, all right? So we didn't actually create a password. So let's try again by creating a new password. We will run this, uh, sorry, I'm going to say Python steqr.py minus f, and we'll just type new password new password all right so we have a new password here which we're going to copy that is nice and uh, for password we just enter great oh that is good wow don't you feel the chill running down your spine we're actually in that machine we're actually in that server with um, some access privileges what do we do next? That's what we're all going to find out, right?